Welcome back guys, Prado 150 out of here. Now today I just wanted to show you how to install a shunt onto your battery. In this case, the iTech World lithium battery. Uh, just going to be putting one in, in Josh's car. So he's already got the lithium battery in there and I've got an iTech World shunt to install. Alright, so uh, here's the iTech World shunt that we've got. I'll just give you a bit of a quick look. So it comes with instructions, uh, a couple of stickers. Um, it also comes with um, the wiring that you'll need for most of it. And just a little bit of extra wiring, but I'll show you what we're going to use that one for. And of course, oops, it's a bit windy out here. <laughs> of course, the uh, the shunt itself. Okay, so. It is relatively easy if you've got a bit of an idea what you're doing, but we're going to show you uh, exactly what to do to install the iTech World. Uh, it's called the battery monitor, the iTech BM500. 500, 500 uh, amp hour shunt. It doesn't have Bluetooth on it though, it comes you know, with the screen. So to install this, the other thing you're going to need is a short piece of wire, okay? Now, we just bought this from Autobahn, that was the shortest that they had. You need two lugs on each end for it. Now, um, the other thing you can do is you can get this, uh, you can go to your auto electrician or someone, and in my case, uh, Dan did this for me on my car, and you can get just a, you, you only probably need um, probably, I don't know, you could probably do that a bit shorter, so just get one made up. Um, you know, for, you, for, for this purpose, uh, but in this case, uh, for Joshua, we've just ducked down to Autobahn and bought that, which will do the job. So I'm going to give you a bit of an explanation. It's pretty hot out here, so I've got my hat on. I know my face is a bit in the shadow, so uh, I just want to apologise for that. But, so but basically, I'll give you an overall rundown of, of what we're going to be doing. So the shunt is going to go on the negative terminal of the battery, okay? So what we're doing is the shunt's going to go between the battery negative terminal, okay? So this is that wire that's gonna go onto the shunt and then your other side of it, so the earth wire, okay, or the negative wire on your on your vehicle, that's gonna plug into the other end of the shunt. So the power's gonna be running through the shunt back and forth, so it's gonna be picking up uh, amps, so discharge and charging. So what it's going to do is, in this case, this battery monitor system, it gives you the balance, okay? So if you've got, you know, 40 amps going in from your BC-DC charger, say, for instance, and you're running your fridge and that's drawing 4 amps, uh, it's going to give you a reading of, what's that, 36 amps, okay? So it's going to give you the balance. It's also going to give you a percentage, so a percentage of what your battery is. In this case, you know, Josh has got the lithium. So we, what we need to do is when we install it, we need to set it up. So we need your battery to be fully charged, okay? Because that's going to be 100%. So you can set that up on the screen. And also you have to set up how many amp hours your battery is. So in this case, Joshua's is 120 amp hours. So we also set that up on the screen, which I'll show you how to do that, okay? And then the other information that the battery monitor gives you on the screen which you don't have to set up it's, it's um, is, is how many volts uh, is uh, the battery is at now as you know with lithium lithium always normally sits around about between the 13.4 to 13.8 depending um, and it just sits at that rate right down till about the 20 percent mark and you won't see it drop until after that um, so the beauty with the battery monitor is that you can get a percentage of where your battery's at along the way and this is what this does so you, you know you know when you're 50 percent you know when you're 40 percent you know when you're 80 percent without um you know you can't really use the voltage on its own because it'll always be reading at the full voltage right the way through so folks the first thing you want to do is with that short lead that you've bought um, is just make sure it's probably best to make sure before you buy it is that this is going to fit over you know over here all right so um i'm just going to check that now we're going to pop that over there and um yeah there's plenty of room so you want to make sure that uh that fits 
you know before you go any further so there we go that fits uh, if you can see that that fits perfectly well guys um, I've just come in out of the out of the hot sun so um, there's some pretty good instructions here it's fairly fairly straightforward even if you're not um, you know a qualified auto electrician you can still do it okay I'm not qualified so I'm only giving you my own experience only so that's my disclaimer <laughs> but I have done one with Dan and as I said they're pretty straightforward um, so it tells you everything that you need to know in the booklet so if we have a look here okay so on here we've got a a B there's a B minus okay and then there's a P minus so the first thing you need to do is uh, not connecting your battery yet but you need to connect that little um, piece of wire here okay to the B minus B for battery maybe so uh, what we do is we take this off okay um, now there is a, a washer here so that needs to go on the top so we just pop him in like that and uh, look just finger tight would be would be okay so there we have it so that one's ready B minus okay so when you get to the battery um, which I'll show you in a minute but we just use double-sided uh, tape you know the velcro stuff so it just sits on top of the battery nice and neat and this just curls around to the negative terminal so that goes on the negative terminal okay and then this side here which is the you can see that the P minus okay so the negative lead that would go up, normally be on your battery it now goes on here so we, we've pretty much set it up we, we're ready to go um, all we got to do is connect this to the battery okay so I'll just show you while we're here the other bits and pieces on here um, in relation to connecting up the gauge so folks I, I'm just going to run through it with you before we actually go and put it on the battery okay so so we've got the negative lead in there uh, as we did so we've got these two on the on the back here okay if you can see them okay the white one and the green one now what on earth are they there for okay if you read the instruction book you'll know but I'm going to show you okay now um so the only time you're going to need to touch the positive terminal of your battery is with one one of these leads okay so that's this red one okay so you've got the that there so that's pretty obvious that goes on your red or positive terminal of your battery okay so where that goes is if you have a look here there's a this green part so on the end here it's uh, already cut with a bit of solder on it so you just unscrew the this screws in there you just unscrew you, only, you need to put this on either side it doesn't really matter so you can put it on the left or the right side okay so you, un you unscrew the screws just a little bit don't not all the way out and just enough so you can slide the wire into here okay okay into the underneath here all right and uh so what i suggest is um connect all this up first don't put this on your positive side of the battery yet until you know until last you've done every you know everything else it's just that last part that you need to do um, now we've got this extension lead now uh, I was just thinking we, we, we don't need it because for, for us per, you know for us because we're where Josh was putting this is in the back of the canopy where his battery is okay so um, for this display unit we only need it to be a short distance from the battery okay so I was thinking that this length would be perfect if, if this is going to go right near the battery however though uh, the, the way that they've got it connected you actually have to use this lead okay so this lead is awesome if you're going to connect the battery uh, or you've got a battery under your bonnet type of situation okay and you want to run the the display into you know where you can see it while you're driving so this this is uh, what you'd be using so to get get it through the firewall plenty of plenty of length however though uh, regardless of whether you need this much length you still have to use this cable okay so my suggestion is you just tie tie up the excess somewhere put it neat uh, we'll plug into that white part okay there's only one of them one side's going to fit and then the other end we'll plug in 
to the white part on your display okay and that's pretty much it you, you're done it's pretty much all done and uh, all you need to do is go to your battery connect up the negative uh, the other negative stick this down plug in your red wire sit your uh, sit this where you want to sit it and that's it done G'day guys, welcome back to another video. I am here in the back of the canopy installing the Bitec World battery monitor with the shunt included. So what I've done is I've got me two negative cables running here. I've got one from this box and then one from the chart from the charger from the alternator. And then I've got another cable I got from Autobahn yesterday and that's going to go over to me negative on my battery. So I'll do that now and I'll stick these up there for you. So that's all connected there. Now I'm going to get some, got some double sorted tape here just from, bit, just from Bunnings. Flip this over. Maybe it's that yeah, there. Uh, what we'll do is um, get a bit of double sided tape there and um, we're going to sit that dog down there and then tuck these cables away, get our shifter. So, I'll we'll just get this one to Once you've installed your shunt on top of the battery, with your wires all done, now this wire is going to get sorted out at a later state, and get I'll get some new uh, terminals and crimp and cut the wires back so they're short. But for now, for the demonstration of this video. We're gonna get this little positive wire and just on this little green bit here, there's a flathead, little flathead screwdriver and you'll poke your wire in there. We'll do that now. This little wire here, it goes from your positive to under here. So what we'll do is should have done this before here, but there's in there. Come over to this one. And we'll add that to it. Basically, what we'll do next is, now I'm going to see if I can get a shorter cable, but for the moment, um, we'll just use this. So basically, you get this end, and that plugs into there. Is that the one or is it this one? It's definitely this one. So that one 
plugs into the shunt. So we've got the uh, actual battery monitor here. Pick up the plastic, little plastic cover. <whistles> now we'll get this wire here, and that just plugs straight into there like so. Now should get power on here, so it's telling me. But 100%. Which I just drove home in town, so that should be. We'll have a look at these instructions. Okay, so when you're setting up your battery monitor, um, you will need to hold down the set button, which is the middle button just here, and you're gonna wait till it flashes, and then you're gonna hold down your your right arrow or your left arrow to set your battery size. So mine is a 120 amp hour battery so what we're going to do is we're going to set that to 120 so 117 118 and we'll keep going go there you go so 120 amp hours and then we're going to press set and then it says that I'm on a 83% of 120 amp hours. So I'm drawing zero amps. It says I've got 100 amp hours left. So. We will start up the car and we will see if it charges. Okay, so we've just turned on the vehicle and we are getting 18.64 amps from the BC DC charger here. So this charger is a 25 amp charger. So that's we're getting 8.6 amps, 18.6 amps, sorry, uh, through the alternator right now, and we're at 13. Point 6 volts, 13.7, and if you go the other side, we're at 84%, and then we are at 101 amps. So if I let that run for 20 minutes, we will have fully charged, and what I'll be doing is this monitor, so there we go, we're at 101 amps, just clocked over. So I'll be getting a, I'll go to the shop later and we'll have this and we'll drill a hole and we'll put the monitor right there on me wall. So then I'll be able to see what me battery's doing when I am at camp. So cheers for watching guys. Um, hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see what I can do to answer them. Also, I can't forget the most important part. Just gotta add the stick in here. Beautiful. Righty, -a, so we've just gone for a good drive down the road for about half an hour and um It's on 104 amps. Never mind. For some reason. She's not charging. Should go up to 120. This is 86 percent. Hmm. You can figure that one out for me, me Mickem. Josh! 
How you going, mate? Good. You having a you having a bit of trouble trying to set up that LCD screen, mate? Yeah. Did you did you read the did you read the instructions on no. how to do it? A little bit. Would you like me to show you? Yeah. So he's done a good job. I'll let him have the camera. He's done a good job uh, installing everything. Now I'm just going to show you how to do the screen properly. So we need to set the percentage to 100%. He's been for a run, batteries are all charged up. So we need to have a, a point where we start from. So I'll just show you guys and Joshua, because he haven't, hasn't read the instructions on how to do that. All right, folks, so this is what you do. So you, we've got the percentage there. It, it is reading 98.2, so it's not too bad. It's pretty close. We're just gonna hold it down. That's the right hand side button. Yep, the right hand side. See how it's gone to 100%? So we set it up for a fully charged battery. And if we go over, oops, we don't want set. Yeah, that's just amps coming out. There we go. And it's automatically set it to 120. That's the capacity of the battery from iTech World. So it's 120 amp hours. So a full battery, obviously there's 120 amp hours there. Okay. So at the moment, um, it's 120, 100%. That's all 100%. And now you'll know exactly what's going on with your battery. Pretty cool, hey? And now Joshua just has to mount this up somewhere. And in Joshua's car, we've also got the iTech World. It's a 25 amp hour uh, DC DC charger from iTech World. And uh, everyone's seen the battery that we've got. So that's the um, 120X from iTech World as well. Awesome. All right, well. I'm gonna get to install the screen. I'm gonna get the 54 mil hole saw, and then we're gonna put it on the false wall on the wall here, and then that should be good. And we'll be able to read it when you open the canopy. Sounds sounds good, Josh. All right, folks. Leave a comment below if you think Josh has done a good job in showing you guys how to install the battery monitor system from iTech World. Who should hire me? I should. Not bad at all. So we'll leave it there folks, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, if you need any products from iTech World uh, use my discount code Prado150, P-R-A-D-O 150. They've got a extraordinary sale on at the moment. So they, a lot of their products have 85% off. So if you're after a battery, some kind of 12 volt system, now is the time to get something from them. So just go onto their website. And in addition, if you add my um, code, Prado150, you'll get another 5% off. So potentially you could be saving 90% off their products. So uh, I'll leave that website on the screen and in the description. So go and check it out. Thanks, guys. See you on the next one. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo, yeah! G'day, boys. How's it going? So you hold that set button down.